All right, guys, I just got back from the game and uh, did not vlog. Um, this game was super stressful. The Kings ended up losing at the end. Final score from the Golden 1 Center, 117 to 115. Um, you know, this game, just so many opportunities there for the Kings uh, especially in the fourth quarter, early on the fourth quarter, to put the clamps down and to put this game away. Um, Got to give Minnesota credit. You know, they had an all-time stinker in their opener against the L.A. Lakers, and um, we all knew this team was not as bad as they looked in the first game. And they bounced back. They made shots. Anthony Edwards is a, is a freaking menace, a beast. And um, their players stepped up. So give them credit where it's due. Um, as far as the Kings goes, um, you know, everybody showed up. De'Aaron Fox uh, had a little Debbie Downer offensively. I give him credit. He had his double-double. He got everybody going. He was feeding everybody early on. He got Murray. He got DeRozan. He got Sabonis going. Dumb three had their game. They're at their A game at the best. But De'Aaron Fox, a pivotal stretch in the fourth quarter where there's a two-minute span where we had so many chances to just push the – lead up to double digits and uh, De'Aaron Fox did not drive us there man he wasn't there offensively tonight and the last possession I'm I was like I'm, sc I'm scratching my head because DeMar DeRozan's inbounding the ball um Mike Brown why do you have DeMar DeRozan one of the best clutch players in the game inbounding the fucking ball uh that didn't make sense to me but it looks like it was a play caught that ran for Keegan Murray and they tried to go for the win. And which I don't mind Keegan Murray taking that shot. I'm perfectly fine with Keegan Murray taking that shot, man. Um, you know, double clutched it. It was a good look. Just went in and out. I mean, if he would have made that thing, that place probably would have, the Golden One probably would have popped off. Probably would, it would have been crazy, crazy loud as the buzzer beater. Um, but boy. I mean, I felt like they could have got a better attempt or a better shot. And I feel like I just didn't like DeMar DeRozan, DeRozan inbounding the ball, man. I honestly didn't like it. Like, if, I feel like it just took away another opportunity on the court to throw the ball to if you couldn't throw it to Keegan Murray. And I feel like Sabonis should have been the one inbounding the ball. But let's talk about the numbers. And speaking of DeMar DeRozan, I, you know what? He played 43 minutes tonight. He had 26 points. He had eight rebounds. Um, you know, he started off a little slow. I'm pretty sure that, you know, there were some, I don't, I don't want to say butterflies because there was, he's been in the league for so long, but you know, he just needed to settle. He was looking, I think he was forcing it a little bit early on in the, in the game. And then the second quarter, uh, he made a couple free throws and he got going. And then from there on out, I thought he was good for the most part of the game. Um, you know, un unguardable from the mid range at jumper at midi is just an autom on automatic, and I thought he did good work today in his debut. Keegan Murray was fantastic. Despite missing the last shot of the game, Keegan Murray was freaking fa fantastic, man. Four three minutes for Murray tonight. He had 23 points, 11 rebounds. That's what I love about Keegan Murray. He had 11 freaking rebounds tonight. And he was really aggressive. You know, he did what he can defensively on Anthony Edwards. But you got to give credit where it's due. Anthony Edwards made some tough-ass shots tonight. And seeing Anthony Edwards live in person... Um, He's a real deal, man. He really is freaking good. And Keegan Murray did his own, did his best and did his try, all he can do to contain and to make it tough on Anthony Edwards. Uh, Sabonis. I love what I saw from Sabonis tonight, too, as well, man. 38 minutes. He had 24 points. Eight rebounds. A little shocker there because, you know, Sabonis is known for his double digits. Or double, du uh, double, double, should I say. But uh, what I love about DeMond Sabonis tonight, um, he did not hesitate. You know, whatever Gobert, whatever Najri gave him, he took it. You know, and he took it. He was pretty aggressive. Um, I love what I saw from DeMar Sabonis tonight. And I think moving forward, he's going to be okay. Uh, and De'Aaron Fox, 37 minutes tonight. He had 15 points. He had 11 assists. I'll give him that. I will give Swiper 11 assists all day. That's awesome. Glad he got his teammates involved early on. But I felt like in the fourth quarter, he was too damn passive. Um, he did not look for a shot. I mean, I don't I don't know what that why that was. It's like you're one of the best clutch players. You're one of the best players in the league in the fourth quarter. What are you doing? Let's not be so passive this time. We need you. We need you to push us through. And he did not do that tonight. He was terrible tonight in the fourth quarter. 
you know, you had a couple of turnovers as well. You got deed up and, you know, you got to give Minnesota credit because they locked him down defensively. And he did get free towards the end of the game on a wide open jumper. That would have given the Kings a two point lead. That would have put them up 117 and 115, but he missed it. It was a wide open break. And I feel like De'Aaron Fox um, let us all down tonight. You know, offensively, De'Aaron Fox let us all down tonight. So there was that. Kevin Herter got his first game back, and he was a starter tonight. In 20 minutes, he had two points, and he had four rebounds. Um, you know, I'm not surprised by this. He has not played basketball since last season. And the fact that he missed all preseason and all training camp, recently he's been medically cleared, it's going to take Kevin Herter some time. He got some good looks tonight, but he just didn't. It just, just, it just didn't go in. So hopefully this is just one game for Kayvon, and hopefully he's back to himself moving forward. Malik Monk is fantastic. You know, honestly, at 26 minutes, Monk had 17 points. He had four assists. He had one rebound. You know, Malik Monk, I would have, that shot attempt that Fox got off, I would have put the ball in Malik Monk's hands or DeRozan's hands, and I would have just uh, let them go at it in the pick and roll with the bonus. But, you know, I, I, Malik Monk was aggressive. He looked really comfortable. Obviously, being in his role and knowing his role, that six, having the six man coming off the off the bench as a six man, uh, I thought Malik was cool, man. Keon Ellis was uh, looked rough, man. Eleven minutes, you know, he had two points, he had one rebound, but I think that in the first half he just didn't get any minutes. I mean, Mike Brown only played him like I think it was like six minutes in that first half. So, you know, what if Kevin Herter struggles continue moving forward, which it might take Cave on a couple games. Um, we might have to have Keon Ellis on the floor uh, more than the minutes that he's gotten tonight. Trey Lyles came back tonight, first game back as well. 11 minutes, he had three points. Alex Lynn got six minutes tonight, he had three points. And then Doug McDermott got six minutes tonight, he had zero points. So overall, the biggest takeaway tonight was, if anybody's worried about the offense, the offense is fine. The offense was going to be fine. Yeah, it looked freaking rough in the preseason, but based on what we saw tonight, um, the Kings offense is going to be fine. And, you know, their defense is, um, I thought their defense was, it could have been better for sure. But the fact that the Wolves made like 20 plus three pointers tonight, sometimes when everybody's chiming in and shooting the ball, like they did, um, they're just that tough to beat. And that's what they were tonight. You know, when they had their two, two head honchos offensively and scoring with the, Anthony Edwards and Julius Randle both going for double for for monster games, uh, and they're having the three point shot going in from everybody chipping in. They're tough. They are they are not what they were the other night opening night. Let's face it. We know we were going to get the better uh, version of them tonight, and we did that. And the fact that we still had a chance to beat them, uh, I, I I can take that last shot by Keegan Murray all day, every day, all night, every night, and I'm perfectly fine with that shot. So if anybody's you know, coming out and criticizing, knocking on Keegan Murray for that shot. That's crazy because it shouldn't never came down to that shot. Knowing that it did came down to that shot, it should have never came down to that shot because De'Aaron Fox tremendously failed to push us through in the fourth quarter. And it shouldn't have came down to that final shot, and it did. So that's just my take. I know if anybody thinks I'm being hard on De'Aaron Fox, I'm not being hard on De'Aaron Fox. It's one game. I get it. It's the opener. But... The reality is, is that when you talk about contract extensions, when you talk about the richest contract in NBA history, and you want that, and your buddy Jason Tatum got that, and your buddy Bam Adebayo got his extension, you got to be in that same level of them. You know, you got to be in the same level. And the fact that he has to yet to showcase that, um, it's just one game. I'm sure De'Aaron Fox is going to probably have a monster game the next game against the Lakers because he has destroy the Lakers all season last year. And um, I just feel like today was opportunity to kind of cement that to, 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 today was the opportunity. Tonight was the opportunity to solidify yourself as why are you deserving of that contract extension next summer? And I felt like, you know, he just didn't look to attack or shoot the ball. And he was very, very passive tonight. So I felt like that fourth quarter stretch, he could have had his, push through and go ahead and put us forward. You know, when Sabonis, DeRozan, and Murray are all on their games um, 
and it's a close game because Minnesota's shooting threes and they're making threes, and Randall and Anthony Edwards are cooking, we need you, Fox. We need you to come through and to push us through, to drive us through, to take us home. And you didn't do that tonight, unfortunately. But it's one game. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's game. Looking forward to the bounce back. There's no doubt in my mind. We will bounce back the next game. Um, you know, we just got to have De'Aaron Fox offensively get it going in the next game, and which I think that he will get it going next game. So the next game Saturday, it's against the Lakers in L.A. want to hear from you guys, though. Let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's game. Um, and shout out to everybody that came across and I ran into tonight. It was great to see you guys. I hope you guys made it home safely, and I hope you guys are tuning in now. Um, that's going to do it for today's, tonight's video. Man, great time out with uh, you know, people I went with, and um, it was just a damn shame that the Kings couldn't get this uh, season started with the win. But not even stressing, I know that this team's going to bounce back, and they will the next game. So with that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.